Uh, so when we're looking at uh, live uh, blood, uh, these are the red blood cells or the erythrocytes. Uh, they're fermenting, much like a banana would ferment, getting its spots. These red blood cells have white spots. These white spots are indication of fermentation. The cells are breaking down into sugar and associated very much uh, with uh, diabetic type symptomologies. Uh, individual folks that have uh, high blood sugars or even low blood sugars will uh, show these types of cells in uh, blood. So we see these actual fermentations taking place on the red blood cells, much like uh, when bananas get their spots. Bananas melting. Diabetes mellitus uh, means to melt into sugar. And this is what happens to cells, which gives rise to an increase in blood sugars uh, in the uh, or glucose in the plasma. Here we see uh, a white blood cell, a neutrophil. It's moving. It's streaming. You can actually see the movement of that. White blood cells, particularly neutrophils. Uh, are significant because they're the, they're the garbage collectors or the pool sweepers of the internal environment. They provide uh, cleanliness and so they move through the blood plasma picking up uh, uh, food particles, bacteria, yeast <coughs> to uh, <coughs> excuse me to purify the blood. So they, they use uh, process uh, by which they uh, move through the blood plasma to pick up uh, any foreign matter that's not supposed to be there. Here you can actually see the white blood cell pulling a platelet from behind. Well, here you can see bacterial cells as well as, well as yeast cells. So here you can see uh, another red blood cell and the fermentation, uh, the uh, crenation or the transformation of red blood cells, giving rise to bacteria. Uh, the indentation of the red blood cells indicating, indicating a dehydration of the blood or a lack of hydration. Here again you see another fermentation spot on the red blood cell indicating uh, diabetic symptomology. Here you can see some more transformation taking place in the red blood cell formation, even uh, to a point where it will give birth to uh, various uh, coccoid uh, forms, bacterial forms, uh, uh, like mycoplasma. So we see all different shapes and sizes of the red blood cells. It's a little round acid crystal. Acid crystals are chelated uh, acids body chelates acids in order to protect the, uh, the alkaline pH of the, of the fluids, particularly the plasma, which is 92 to 94 percent water. Here we see the mycoplasma or bacterial or coccoid uh, uh, bacterial cells uh, coming off the red blood cell. Here we see uh, echinocytes. Uh, these uh, are red blood cells that, that uh, are giving birth to bacterial cells. We can see these bacterial cells uh, coming off the, the membrane of the red blood cell. Here we see uh, the fermentations of the red blood cells, uh, very typical uh, in uh, type 1 diabetics. And we see uh, the fermentations here in all these red blood cells. These would be uh, the size here. These are a little bit smaller microcytes. These are uh, more normal red blood cells. And these here are all called shadow cells. A deficiency in the bilipid membrane and a deterioration or disintegration of the lipid membrane where the cells have lost their oxygen as if someone had turned the lights out on the cell. This right here is uh, a heterogeneous symplast, a combination of various bacteria yeast and toxin, uh, other acidic toxins in uh, an aggregation uh, or a city. In fact, I refer to it as a city of garbage. Very common in uh, diets that are high in proteins. More uh, diabetic cells or fermenting red blood cells, very typical in uh, 
in diabetics, particularly type 1 diabetics.